Excellent. Hi there. Yes, my name is Jane Piper, and uh, I wanted to speak here today because uh, I am a survivor of sexual assault, and I have spoken about it quite publicly since it happened, um, and in doing so discovered that uh, there are not a, a lot of people that do this, and that is why I felt that I need to share my story and talk about what happened to me on a fairly regular basis just to just to, to, just to bring, uh, bring it into the open and allow those of us that have had this experience to begin a conversation because I am not the only one and I see a very huge crowd of women here today uh, as, well, uh, as well as men and I am so honored to be a part of it and I have a feeling that there are many of us that have experienced violence and uh, whether we have spoken about it publicly or whether we've just spoken about it with friends or whether we keep it to ourselves, I think it's really important that we as, soci as a society understand what violence does to us and how it affects the, the entire society collectively. When a woman is raped, there is something taken from her. There is a death, in a sense, of the person that we were before the rape took place. Uh, it's, it's as if the, I, I, the personal identity splinters and you work the rest of your life to recreate a new identity, a new person that you can be proud of, that you can own, that you can feel is yourself. But you do always wonder, what would have happened to that person that I was? Who would that person be now? And there's a difficulty in putting those two identities together and understanding as we go through life and trying to leave that experience behind and move on. It's very, very difficult. And I think it's so very important that we as a society understand this. Those of us that have had, the, have had an experience of violence, whether it's some form of sexual assault, rape, or, or being in an abuse uh, relationship that brings us to a place where we are victimized, we need to come together as survivors and share our stories with our families, with our friends, with the public, or just with each other so that we can all understand how this is changing us as a people. And we have to have compassion for these experiences, even if we have not had them. We have to understand the severity of them. And I talk about this because when I hear a man who literally brags on camera to another man who then laughs with a group of men also laughing, bra bra brags about how he grabs women by the pussy just because he can, because he's a celebrity. And then when asked, just a week later, yes, shame indeed, but did he feel shame? No, in a debate, a presidential debate, just one week later, uh, a journalist puts it in the words that sh it should have been put in all along. Did you actually do what you said? Did you sexually assault women? No, 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 I didn't. Just locker room talk. But what we never really got to, the important part of the conversation we never got to, was did he even understand that his behavior, as regular it seemed in the way that he spoke about it, did he even understand that that is sexual assault? That is illegal, that is a crime. You are not allowed to grab anyone by their genitals without It doesn't matter if it's a joke to you. It doesn't matter if you think you're being humorous. It doesn't matter if you're just trying to be lighthearted. You do not approach another person's body and violate their space without their consent. You just do not. And when you do that, and when you speak about it as if it's not a big deal, and then you get elected to be president of the United States, we all, whether we are Americans, whether we are North Americans, whether we are just global citizens, we all have to be very careful now. We have got to be vigilant among each other. We have got to look out for each other. We have got to be sure that when we see little boys and little girls playing, that we explain to them what is sexual assault and what you do not do and how you don't touch other people and how you don't speak to other people and we show them by example the right way to behave the right way to share love and to share compassion and to be respectful and have empathy we do not talk enough about empathy
thinks it's funny that the president of the United States thinks women make up just to bring down celebrities, just to get money out of celebrities. That really does not happen, and we need to put an end to that silly, ridiculous thought that every time someone says that they were sexually assaulted by someone with money or with power or with some sort of celebrity that they are that our first instinct is to say they are lying that is insanity and it is not true and we must listen to women we must listen to stories we can hear and we can tell truth without having a court of law tell us what the, the legal ramification is <laughs> and we have empathy let's use it so I just want to close up here I really want to state how important it is for each of us now to be vigilant if we are on us on a public bus and we hear someone making comments to another uh, we see someone grab another person if we hear racial uh, racial comment uh, commenting and insulting we need to step in we don't want to get hurt we don't want to create violent situations but we have got to be responsible now we can't stand back feeling shameful or feeling embarrassed or oh gosh do i get involved yes 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 you get involved. yes, yes. yes. Either. That man, the predator-in-chief of the United States, thinks that it is acceptable to grab women, and it is not. So we as a people now are going to tell, our, tell each other, tell our families, tell our friends, we're going to watch over each other and make sure that people know how to treat each other, because we know, we all know, we know how to be good. There is good in everyone. I really do believe it.